guys, so today I have my April favorites for you all. Um, I have conveniently put, in, put them all in this Ulta bag that I found in my room, like I don't have a million laying around. I filmed a March favorites, I just never got around to edit it, and honestly, like, like last month, I don't, I've just been really busy. I know everybody says they've been busy, but I've been working a lot because this summer I am going to New York, Boston, and LA. And I really, like, it's gonna be so expensive. And right now, the money is a little bit more important. Um, and I've been just so tired, I've been exhausted. I've been working out every single freaking day, which is exhausting, and I have been just trying to get my health on track and everything like that. So I do apologize if you actually like to watch my videos and I haven't been uploading, I really apologize. And I wanna say big thank you to everyone who watched and has shared my mascara review. That's like, I don't know, that's a lot of views for me. That's a lot of people watching my videos. So thank you to all of you who have subscribed from that video. Um, but I, I promise that I will try I will try, don't hold me to it, to upload a little bit more often, maybe maybe once or twice um, a week, just so I can keep you happy, I can keep me happy, and we're all happy. So let's get into this. I don't want these videos to be long because I have a lot to film today. So yes, I'm going to just get started. The first thing I have been in love with this since I got it, which is, I've had it for about two months now, is my Morphe 35 Warm Palette. This is the Warm Palette. Oh my gosh, I just can't get enough of this. It's amazing. These, oh, these eyeshadows are amazing. And I think that you get a better value when you buy them in the palettes. And I've bought the singles by themselves. And they're the same exact eyeshadows. They're really amazing quality just honestly just go out and buy the not go out because unless you live in Burbank I think that's where their store is you can't like actually go out and buy it but buy it from the store online and you won't regret it this is like everything you need in a palette except for like a shimmery champagne shade um, that's all that's missing but other than that oh, amazing sticking with eyes I'm going out of order it doesn't really matter um Speechless, I, I literally have not used any other mascara but this. I have backups of this. Guys, I have never tried a mascara this good. And I have tried a lot of mascara. I literally have tried every freaking mascara you can imagine. This does not compare to anything else I've ever used. Like, this is amazing. This is the highest of the high. I cannot believe this is such a great mascara. And I've tried a lot of Maybelline mascara and they haven't been that great, but this one is amazing. Mwah. Next, I have been loving this NYX HD Studio Photogenic Powder. Um, I also use another powder with this. It is the Smooth Operator Tarte Amazonian Clay Powder. This is their new mat mattifying powders. I like to use these together, so I'll like put my brush in this and then I'll put my brush in this and I just kinda like bam, bam, do that. <laughs> I don't do that, I just take a big powder brush and I kinda just pat it on instead of like swirling it and it makes my makeup look amazing and these are great and they make my, la my makeup last forever. Speaking of makeup, um, foundation, speaking of makeup, this is all makeup, but foundation, I have been freaking obsessed with this Estee Lauder Double Wear Makeup. I have never tried, like, I'm about to say I've never tried anything like this, just like I've never tried anything like that mascara, but I'm so serious. Again, I've tried a lot of foundation, and this one is amazing, so good. I always pick this one up because I know that it's going to last all day, and I'm going to look great wearing it. I'm going to look great. The makeup looks great, and I don't really have people complimenting me on the foundation. People are like, your skin is great. It is a full coverage, but you it still looks like your skin. I don't know. It's amazing. Go out and try this. Just get a sample of it, and I promise you won't regret it. Under that, I have been wearing two things. I have been wearing the Hard Candy Sheer Envy 12-Hour Power Primer. This is really good. If you've tried the Benefit 15-Hour Primer, it's very comparable. The texture is pretty similar, except it's not as heavy as the other primer. And this really makes my makeup last. I am freaking loving this. I am so glad I saw this. I love it. And with that, I mixed the Becca Shimmering Skin Perfector in Opal. Oh my gosh, this is amazing. So I don't really 
like a matte finish anymore to my foundations ever any time because I think it just makes me look older um, so I like to add a little bit of shine to my face I know that not like shiny like oily but I like a dewy finish foundation and that's so weird because I never used to like them um, or like that look but now I do so that just makes my skin look fantastic so to set all of that I have been using the hard candy fast and fabulous makeup setting spray these are apparently new at the drugstore I saw these not drugstore at Walmart and I had to get them because hard candy is so affordable and um, some of their stuff is really good okay moving on my skin was acting really really terribly it was hating me it was like I hate you Brandy you're terrible and I'm gonna just break out all the time so literally one breakout after another and the thing about me is I don't get multiple breakouts all at once I get one breakout but it's like the worst breakout or I'll get like two really really bad like issues on my face and they are primarily right here above my lip um, right here on my chin and then like my eyebrows I know that's so weird and then I have I usually get one like some right here okay so basically my whole face but usually like just the center of my face which is where you collect the most oil but I wash my face every night I moisturize like I keep my regimen give or take a few nights where I'm just like really tired and I don't wash my face which is probably contributing to it but when I tell you these are the worst breakouts they are so bad they hurt so bad and I've never had this happen to me before so I'm so confused um, right now my skin is really good and I'm gonna tell you the two products that have saved my skin well three I don't have one of them here with me the Biore deep pore charcoal cleanser this is amazing and the bar the charcoal bar that is amazing as well those two products like these two face washes have changed my whole face everything is amazing oh my gosh I just love it so much but <laughs> they're amazing products and just try it you can't beat it these are so affordable another product that I'm really surprised by that's helped clear my skin up is the hot spring sauna mask by Montagne Joeyness I don't know how to pronounce that but it's just a little face mask that you can get at Ulta this looked really interesting it's a hot spring sauna self-heating therapy mask and you rub when you rub it in it like heats up and it's so amazing I wish it kind of stayed hot but it doesn't it just kind of once you start rubbing it it gets a little bit hot but like not hot to where it's like oh my god get this on my face it just feels so warming it feels so nice I leave this on for a couple of hours actually and it just makes my skin feel amazing don't know what it is don't know what makes it like that but it's amazing and you should give this a try another thing I've been loving is the L'Oreal Paris blow dry quick dry primer spray I had an issue with my hair a couple like last month it was green and it was just a big mess I broke down about it I cried about it and I was waiting for people to fix it for me and the whole time I could have just done it myself I fixed my own hair I dyed it I bleached it which ruined my hair my hair was blonde before but I had to process it twice with bleach just to get the green out and I don't even think I've gotten all the green out like underneath but I am done <laughs> using bleach for a little while my hair is fried if you can't tell like it is fried and whenever I straighten it which is very rare I try to stay away from heat because it's so damaged sometimes it smells like Barbie hair because it's basically fried hair if I need to blow dry it which again I don't do it very often I use a blow dry spray this works just as well as the Kenra and it's literally a fraction of the price so definitely give this a try if you're looking for something to help blow dry your hair quicker because um, you don't want to leave heat on your hair for a long time because that's when your hair starts to break the next thing that I have been loving is the Bax and Nurture replenishment from philosophy I'm halfway through this this stuff is amazing I put this on at night after I wash my face and I feel like it does everything for me it's not too heavy like I feel sometimes that um, moisturizers are really heavy 
and I don't want that sitting on my skin all night and I know that's when you should replenish your skin but I feel like this is perfect enough to get enough nourishment um, this stuff is amazing so definitely give this a try the next thing I have been loving is the sweetheart blush from Too Faced in the color peach beach it is just this really pretty peachy color so you can use these separate or you can just swirl them all together which that's what I do I just get a brush and swirl it up there and put it on my face and it makes my cheeks look amazing like it's great and last but not least is this eyeshadow from L'Oreal I've been through two of these eyeshadows one because I left it open and they dry out if you leave them open which has happened to this one but I am just sticking with it because it still works really well either way and it is in the color ice latte I get so many questions whenever I wear this eyeshadow because it's so pretty like it's so icy and like I don't know just just pretty <laughs> I'm pretty sure I've mentioned this shadow before there it is right there you can use it as a um, cheek highlight too I feel that it looks really great as a cheek highlight whenever you kind of sheer it out a little bit or use a brush and sheer it out on your skin it looks great but that is my last favorite. Well, no, nope, there's one more favorite. I recently ordered these sunglasses from Amazon. I'm kind of disappointed because they are really cheaply made and I paid like $12 for them, which that's pretty cheap for sunglasses. But I've gotten cheaper sunglasses and they've been better quality. But they're these here. See, they're kind of crooked too. I don't like that. But they're like these circle sunglasses and they're mirrored. I don't know if you can see. There you go. They're like that. Oh, I love them so much and they make me so happy and I just think they look so cool for the summertime. And yeah, so that is all of my favorites for the month of March. I'm sorry this video is going to be up late, but what are you going to do? can only do so much. So yeah, I hope you all enjoyed this video. Give it a big thumbs up if you did. Let me know what your favorite was for the month of March. And I will talk to you all later. Bye!